Hi guys, in this video, we are going to discuss a question from forces. We have already done many questions regarding physics. I have given those links in the video's description so you can also watch those videos. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's read the question. A horse ejects water at a speed of 20 cm second minus 1 through a hole of area 100 cm square. If the water strikes a wall normally, calculate the force on the wall in Newton. Assuming the velocity of the water normal to the wall is 0 after collision. So pause this video and try to do this question in your own. After that, you can watch the rest of the video. In this case, they have told a horse ejects water at a speed of 20 centimeters second minus 1. And they have given the area of that hole is equals to 100 centimeters squared. The next thing, if the water strikes a wall normally, Calculate a force on the wall in Newton. So from this question, we are going to use Newton's second law as well as the Newton's third law. So I'm going to do step by step so you can watch and carefully and you can directly understand this question. In the latter part, they have given, assume the velocity of the water normal to the wall is zero after collision. So it's going to strike the wall normally. That means perpendicular for that wall. So it's going to strike the wall normally after the collision water's velocity is equal to zero. They have given that like that. So in this case, first part, they are giving the water having a speed of 20 centimeters second minus one. After collision, the velocity in, of the water is zero. So there is a velocity change. So in this case, there is, if there is a velocity change, we can tell there should be a momentum change if there is a momentum change we can directly tell there is a force acting on this body to Newton's second law resultant force is equal to rate of changing in momentum rate of change in momentum so we are going to directly use this law for finding the force acting on the wall. Let's say when the hose ejects the water, if I take the piece of a cylinder, I'm getting like this. I'm going to draw a cylinder of water. In one second, if I change this into meter, I'll be getting 0 0.2 meter second minus 1. The reason why I'm changing is they have asked the force acting on a wall in Newton. So I'm going to change this. The velocity of the water is 0 0.2 meter second minus 1. In a T seconds, what would be the length of this water cylindric water so we can directly tell in one second the water will make a distance of 0 0.2 meter so in the t seconds the length of the cylinder is equals to 0 0.2 into t have you understood in this case i am going to consider the cylinder of water when a horse ejects the water, I am taking only a slinter part. After that, I am telling in one second, the water will have a displacement of distance of 0 0.2 meter. 
so I'm telling that after t seconds if I take to t seconds the length of the cylinder will be 0 0.2 into t velocity into time is equals to distance covered at that point the next step they have given the whole area whole of area is 100 centimeters squared so I'm also going to change this into meter squared so in this case you should be careful 100 centimeters 10 to the power minus 2 so I'm going to write it as this 10 to the power minus 2 meter squared I'm going to change it 10 to the power minus 2 meter be careful you should also square this also centimeter whole thing squared so I'm going to put meter squared as well as centi that means 10 to the power minus 2 squared so if I simplify this I will be getting 10 to the power minus 4 10 squared so the answer is 10 to the power minus 2 meter squared so the whole of area the area of this cylinder is equals to 10 to the power minus 2 meter square so I have taken that a cylinder rig shape after that I found the length after t seconds the length will be 0 0.2 t and I have found the area 10 to the power minus 2 meter square and the main thing why are you finding these items I have already told we are going to calculate the rate of change in moment if I use this linter water after the collision what would be the velocity we have already know the velocity is going to be zero before that the cylindric water speed is 0 0.2 after that it's going to be zero so let's take what let's find what's the mass of this cylindric water how to find that we have the volume of the cylindric water 0 0.2 t into 10 to the power minus 2 and I'm going to multiply with the density of the water we can directly use 1000 kilogram meter minus 3 so this is the density of the water if I multiply this I'll be getting 2t now I have found the mass of the cylindric water so we know the mass as well as I know the velocity change so I'm going to directly use force is equal to change in moment rate of change in moment sorry m u over t so we can directly tell m is equal to v minus u over t in this case I have found the mass is equals to 2t so I'm going to directly use it 2t and b minus u b means final velocity so in this case final velocity is 0 so 0 minus in this case be careful u is equals to 0 0.2 in which direction it's in this towards right so in this case force is an vector is a vector as well as velocity is also a vector so you should be careful with the directions too so I'm going to divide it by t if I simplify this I'm getting t will be cut so 2 into 0 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.4 if I consider this minus the direction will be changed so it should be towards right so I have found that the 
force is acting towards right, the resultant force is 0 0.4, 0 0.4 Newton, which is acting on the water. They have asked that calculate the force on the wall. I now I have found that 0.4 Newton towards right is the force acting on the water. But they have asked to find the force on the wall. According to Newton's third law, we can tell reaction force would be same in magnitude but it will be act opposite direction if wall gives a force to water the water will give a force to wall that's the newton's third law these two forces are equal in magnitude at the same time opposite in direction so according to newton's third law we have found that the force on the wall is equal to 0 0.4 newton rightwards i hope this video would be useful if you have any doubts you can comment Leave your comments in the comments section. Thank you.